Okay, so I can directly type in a web address. So if I want to go to Google, I can just type in google.com. And that will take me to the search function. Um, you'll notice that your email address is already in here. You are already signed in. So when you sign into the Chromebook, it signs you into your Google account, which is very nice. If you're using your own device, when you go to Google, you're going to have to click the sign in button up here and sign in just like I did on the Chromebook. Um, another way to get to uh, the different Google um, apps um, is to click on the little symbols down here. So there is one for Gmail. Uh, there's one for YouTube and there's one for the main Google page. Um, if I click on the Gmail one, it will open up a new tab and it will show me my Gmail account. And so I'll have a few welcome screens here. Um, another way to uh, launch the different Google Apps is to click this little square here that says Apps when I hover over it. And that will bring up all the apps that come pre-installed um, or pre-approved. So if I'm going to be um, using different files that my teachers have shared with me, um, I can go to my Google Drive and that will show me um, all my documents, word processing, um, all my folders that I've created. Um, and this is this is one you're going to use a lot. Um, and so if I click on one of my folders, I can see what files are in there. Um, if you haven't used it before, of course, you won't have any folders to look at. Okay, but that is the, uh, the little apps symbol there. Okay. Um, and this one actually has two pages of apps in here. So we have, we have several apps for you to choose from. Um, if you're a freshman or you're a sophomore who has not passed the typing test, we do have Typing Club on here so you can practice your keyboarding. Okay.